Winston, do you want to go dumpster diving? Do you want to go with Mama? Do you want to go dumpster diving today? You want to go to Ulta? Do you want to go to Aldi? Yeah, okay, let's go check it out, okay? Why are you barking? Why are you barking? You ready? Are we going to go dumpster diving? Come on. Okay, buddy. Who's so excited? And there he goes, folks. Ready to go dumpster diving. Are you ready to confetti? Yeah. Okay, hold on, buddy. Hold on. Okay. He's in his little chair. We're going to go to dumpster dive. Okay. Hey guys, so I am driving. It is cold, blustery, raining, and definitely feeling like a fall day today, but that is not going to stop me from checking out some dumpsters. Um, I was semi-caught the other day uh, at one of my favorite grocery stores, and so... I wanted to give it a day in between going, even though I didn't even take a single thing out of that dumpster. Uh, the guy definitely saw me. He knows what kind of car I drive now. Uh, he knows what I look like, etc. So I just played it safe and didn't do any diving there yesterday or any diving at all. Um, but I am out now, even though Monday is like the worst day because most retail stores get empty today. I am uh, going to a place that doesn't get theirs empty till Wednesday. So when I was gone, my favorite beauty store, the uh, dumpster emptying schedule was changed because it normally was emptied on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And this past week, it wasn't emptied on Thursday, but then it was emptied on Friday. So now I'm going today to check whether or not it is emptied on Mondays now. Mondays and Fridays are like just what happened because I honestly have no clue. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to give a shout out also to one of my very good friends. If you're not subscribed to her channel, you definitely should be. It's NWI Diver. Uh, that's my friend Sue Ann over there. She lives not too far from me and her and I have become really close in the last few months um, of not diving together, but sometimes we'll call each other when we're diving and we'll just have conversations and talk to each other through it because sometimes, you know, we have to go alone. Well, I mean, I go by myself 99% of the time. So, you know, it's just always nice to have her there and I just wanted to give her a shout out and tell her that I appreciate all of her positivity uh this past weekend i released a video and it got so many negative comments that i just about lost my mind um, most of you guys as usual are really really positive and supportive of my channel but then there are those few who accuse me of doing things that you know they you, you guys some of you guys that watch this channel think that you know everything about my life and that you know, you, somehow you know me, even though you've never met me or have never spoken to me a day in your life. Um, so to all the trolls out there who are commenting nasty things, I just want to say that you guys are a bunch of losers, first of all. Second of all, when I do my fantastic giveaway, um, I've written all your names down. So anyone that's ever made a nasty comment, don't think for a second that you're going to win anything that I have because this is going to be my best giveaway yet and you fools just lost your chances with your nasty comments so anyways hopefully we find something cool today i know that when i was in the aldi dumpster the other night um there was a bunch of miracle whip and i just found so much mayonnaise recently um but i didn't get to take anything because like i said i almost got caught so um Anyways, I don't know if it's still there. I'm sure it is, um, but I'm gonna go see what's new in that dumpster today and then go check out my 
other couple spots that I know for a fact haven't been emptied today. So stay tuned and we'll see what we get today. Okay, you guys, pulling in to this dumpster, I see some stuff, looks like maybe kitchen stuff back down there, lots of tomatoes. Alright, let me see what I can pull out of here, I'll be back. Hey guys, okay, so I just stopped by the store. Uh, picked up a bag. I have no idea what's in it, but if you can see, it is super wet. It rained a ton here yesterday, all day in fact, um, and so it put quite a damper on things. So anyways, I picked up this bag and we're going to go through it right now, but I did really quickly also want to give out, give a shout out to one of, um, my subscribers named Kat, she actually asked me uh, if I could show her what's going on with the plants that I got. So this is my kitchen and all the mess with it, but these right here are the plants that I rescued from the Aldi dumpster. And some of them, you know, like they're not doing so hot, but then in other places they are. Like this one has several different um, places where it's growing, although in the middle it's still really dead. But like the rest of these are doing really well. Like these chives are doing so amazing. Um, these are both lemon balm here. Those are doing fantastic. And then this is all parsley in the back. And then these are all my cilantro plants right here. This ch These chives are going like crazy. Um, but these are all of the herbs that I rescued. And then I also have some outside. I'll show you these ones. These ones are the ones that are not doing so great. But, oh, and it rained a ton. Okay, so I have to get rid of all this water. They are not happy. But I wanted to give these ones a little bit more sunlight than the ones inside because those ones are thriving. But, oh my gosh, they're drowning right now. Um, but yeah, like some of these are just not going to make it at all. Like some of these didn't make it when I came home from, uh, the Philippines. So oh my goodness, these things are supposed to have, uh, I don't even know what's the word, like drains from the bottom, but for some reason it's like not draining. So these poor plants. Okay. Let me put this on hold and let me drain these. Okay, I am back inside. I had to empty all the water from the plants and make sure that they weren't drowning. I feel really bad. They were out there all day yesterday uh, and all night last night in the rain. It didn't stop raining until like four o'clock this morning. So anyways, I'm going to go through this bag now. And for all the people that are complaining that I don't have a tripod, like enough with your nasty comments because literally I'm just so sick of all the nasty comments that I've been getting lately. I do have a tripod, clearly I'm using it, but I don't always have a setup 
when I'm making a video. So you guys need to just chill out if you want to make nasty comments. Like, I will block you immediately if you say anything gross. But, I mean, it's just getting ridiculous. So anyways, enough of that. Let's go through this bag. Okay, so some of this is just going to be recycled. This is an eraser set, a Marvel eraser set. Um, clearly, there's like a bunch of missing erasers, but I'm going to keep the packaging because maybe they're in here somewhere and they just try to destroy it or something. Um, these are always handy to have. It is a shopping bag. It is a little soggy on top, but maybe if I leave it out towards the sun, like in the window over here, maybe it'll dry out. Uh, a heck of a lot of cords. Now this is the same um, five below you guys that I went to that one time where they wrote all the nasty words. These don't appear to be cut, so maybe someone just didn't have time. Um, but this was the one that was like really messed up. So. I'll have to try all these cords. Usually I find for me, 50% uh, of the time they work and 50% of the time they don't. Uh, a lot of times they get returned too. So uh, this is just an HDMI cord. It is really soggy in the packaging. Uh, so I'll leave that out to dry as well. <clears throat> Facial cleansing pads. It looks like they're both here, which is nice. I wish all this stuff wasn't wet because it would make it really easy for me to um, put it in like a little bag for Christmas for gifts and stuff, but it appears most of this stuff is ruined. Uh, sparkly stuff. Maybe for making slime. <clears throat> this is soaking wet. Uh, it's a ball though, I think. Some kind of ball. Plush play ball. Um, really, really wet though. I'm gonna leave that out also. Like I said, I don't have super high hopes. Recycle. Oh, look how cute this is, you guys. It's a racing sailboat. Um Wow, I feel like I'm just going to make a mess in the kitchen and leave everything out to dry, but I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so another cord. Uh, these things, whatever they are, for, uh, shatter, shatterproof things, which I actually just had to order another one of these. <clears throat> I got one for my phone, and then if you signed up for the warranty or whatever, then they would send you a free one if it broke, and so mine cracked. Um... So anyways, I got a new one. Okay, so like this is something that is not going to be able to be fixed. It is just completely damaged there, so that's just a waste. That's going in the trash. I'm not sure what this, it looks like a little battery pack, but it's super wet. As you can see, the water drops on it. Always nice having a pair of sunglasses. I will test this one out also. Pet carrier. Oh my gosh, that would be so cute if this was in here. Okay, so this one they ripped. Like some of these they damaged. <clears throat> this is a universal car mount that is stuck to... Oh, it's like super sticky. Okay, well this is actually really cool, and I'm not sure how it works. Oh, like this. So it sticks on the dash. This is really cool, I'm gonna put this in my car. Cause the one that I have, I got out of the trash at Five Below um, a while ago, but it falls down all the time. Okay, so we got another sailboat here, remote control. The packaging is super wet. I don't know if you guys can see that, but. There's two of those. This is an iPhone 6, 7, 8. Harmex. Storage Ottoman. These are always fun to have. Um, I hate 
keep throwing this stuff away and then I find the, um, the stuff in here. This is for an iPhone XR. Let me see if it's in here. And it is not, but I do like to keep these. Those are always good to have. Got a ton of boards here, my goodness. This actually looks like an iPhone cord, that's weird. But it's like super damaged. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's probably a safety hazard at this point and not worth it. But a ton of cords that I will have to try out today. This is that little massager thing. I wonder if this is broken or if it just got really wet. Yeah, it's all wet on the inside here. I'll have to recycle these batteries somewhere. I'll see if they work in another thing, but this thing's super broken. It sucks. Okay, another one of these balls. This one is destroyed. We got rid of all those. Another shatterproof. This one happens to be in here. Cool, so I'll stick this in there with that. And then this one has two. This is for an eight plus. I need to start finding someone who has these phones because I've got a ton of these. Um, nothing else. Oh. Okay. This just fell out of there. It's like a little race car. I'm guessing these little wings go with it. Wings for the car. This is... Oh, a cute little gummy pizza, but somebody... Ate it, opened it in the store. Okay, here's actually a case. So I got one. This is for an iPhone XR or an XS. Actually fits that too. These are open. This is gross. Rash markers. I don't see the markers in here. Okay. It is an electronic keyboard that's completely empty. Recycle. little cord here. This one appears to be broken right here though. I don't know if you guys can see it. A pop socket. I actually have one of these on my other phone case and it works really well. I like it. I got it from the trash. Headphones. Those probably work. A retro microphone. I don't know if this works. I'll have to put batteries in it and see. I hate that the boxes are all messed up though because it's really hard to donate stuff. I don't know what this goes to. If anybody knows, leave a comment. This cute little activity book, which is all wet in the bottom. Not too bad though. I can save that. It's just got it. Hopefully the pages don't stick together because it's, see how wet it is down here? Like the pages are, hopefully they dry. Um, but anyways, got that. Another one of these things, trash. And some candy. They're individual Krabby Patties. The box is in shambles, all wet, but the candy inside is still good. So, here's another one. A bunch of Krabby Patties. Oh, and one little makeup thing. Let's see if it was used. Yeah, someone did use it, but I mean, you could easily wipe that off. Okay, so 
Oh, here's a couple of carp. Oh, here's one of those racers. I think this is for the car. And that's it for this bag. So, I have not been finding too much stuff lately, you guys. I don't know what's going on. I'm having a bit of a dry spell. So, bear with me. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you all on the next dive. So it's been a while since I have really found anything, you guys. Uh, like I said in the last clip, I am on a bit of a dry spell right now. I have barely been finding anything, maybe one or two things at a time. Uh, so that's why I haven't put a video out in what feels like forever. I mean, I know it's been weeks, but I just didn't want to throw a five minute video together of basically finding nothing because every dumpster that I've recorded at literally have not found anything. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, hopefully, maybe I'm just getting the wrong times. Um, like I said in one of the other clips before, I've just noticed that the schedule has been different since I got back. Um, so I'm trying to catch up with the schedule and then there's other divers out there, obviously. And then my bed and bath store is under reconstruction. So they're not putting any trash in the dumpster because they're putting it all in this large dumpster. Anyways, there's a lot going on over here. So I just didn't want to bore you guys with nothing videos, but I did go out to the pharmacy the other night and I did find all this stuff. Um, they were throwing away all of these uh, face wipes and they're not the makeup remover kind. Uh, they're just like facial cloths. Uh, I kept one in my car already because I ran out of baby wipes um, and I needed something to clean my hands with and they actually smell really good. Uh, but these expired back in like 2017, as you can see there. So they've had these in the store for quite some time. The pack that I opened was definitely not really that wet. It was sort of dry. And these are all from 2017, it looks like. Um, but it wasn't that that moist of a wipe, uh, which is to be expected. They are kind of old, but they still have a little bit of life in them. I just have to like keep a bunch of my car, start using them, um, and see what I can do with these. Um, give some away, obviously. But I did find those. I found... Two of these, the night that I found these, I, I found some Oil of Olay also, and that's my mom's favorite brand. So I already gave that away and one of these to her. So that's why I don't have it here to record. So I apologize for that. But uh, I found two of these. The boxes were super soaked because it has been raining crazy here. Uh, so I don't have that to show uh, if those are already in the trash and gone. And then I did find this Rock Multi-Correction Cream. Uh, this expired back in March of last year. So I guess they just maybe don't check their inventory that often, but it was in the box that I just threw away because it was way, way too damaged from the water. So I got that one as well as this anti-wrinkle formula. And then you guys look at the little haul that I got from Ulta. These two things, that's it. I got this tester uh, mascara, which is such great mascara, by the way. And then, let me open this up. I got this really pretty Becca highlighter, but the mirror is broken. So you can tell it's not really that used, but the mirror is broken. So that's why they got rid of it. So I also went um, by the craft store, excuse the darkness for one minute. And I did, excuse the garage, it's a hot mess. Um, I did find a box of these little Christmas tree type things. They are, uh, the Ashland brand and it says they were a gift with purchase. So there's no price on them, but there are... Uh, I don't know, maybe 50 pieces, 20, 
24 in a pack of these. And then you guys, I ended up finding one, two, three, four, five. And then that one over there, I've got six cases of these little trees. So these are all the same um, pine tree with burlap, they're calling it, ash mini pine tree. So I got five cases of those, six, sorry, of these cute little trees and they are sort of heavy. So you can uh, use them as like a paperweight or uh, just like a cute little decoration. But if any of you guys want to pay shipping for these, I'd be glad to send some out. Obviously, not everyone will be able to get them because I will run out eventually. Um, but if you have an interest in those, please just send me an email. Uh, not in the comments. Send me an email if you're interested. And if you want to pay for shipping, I definitely don't mind getting rid of those. There's no way that I'm going to be able to keep five cases of those things um so yeah that's my very very small little haul for <sighs> the last time i went out you guys wish me luck i'm gonna head out today it is a cold blustery and snowy day as you can see out on the deck out there um not the best day, I'm not going to lie, but I'm going to head out there and see what I can find. And hopefully there's something out there for me, you guys. Wish me luck. I'm going to take Winston. He wants to say hi to you all. Are you sleepy, boy? Are you sleepy? Oh, I'm so tired. He's got his little pajamas on, you guys. How cute is he? You got your jammies on. Okay, so we're going to head out soon. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all on the next dive. Hey, guys. I just got a package in the mail, and it's from my dear friend over in Hawaii. It is um, from Auntie Lisa from Auntie Lisa's Adventures, and she told me uh, to go check my mailbox, and... When I went, I got something. So I'm gonna open it up and see what she sent me. I sent her a package not too long ago. Um, and she wasn't supposed to send me anything back. So honestly, I'm not really sure what's in this box. I have no idea what it could be. Um, I'm, I'm like in such shock. The anticipation is killing me. Wow. I'm gonna go through this with you guys, but how exciting. Okay, so these are little bags, it looks like. Like a little shopping bag, maybe. Oh my gosh, it is. You guys know how obsessed I am with these shopping bags. I live for them. Look at how cute it is. It's got like little characters on it and then it folds up into this little tote and then you just wear it. How cute is that? Okay, thank you so much. Before I forget to tell you because this is just too cute. Here's another one. Um, this is like a blue one with like a little bunny or maybe it goes that way. You guys can see it better. How cute is that? Okay, what else? a plaid scarf. This is so cute and it's getting so cold here. I think I might've even told her that I was like in such shock when I got home from the Philippines, like how cold it was when I got off the plane. I was so much in shock. Um, wow. Look you guys, macadamia nuts all the way from Hawaii. There's dry roasted, honey roasted, and onion and garlic. That is definitely not a flavor that you could get in the States. Um, I've never even seen honey roasted. I've only seen regular ones. So how awesome. Thank you so much. And then, look you guys. This is Island Max chocolate covered macadamia nuts. Look at 
at how many I get to eat now. So excited. I cannot believe she sent these all the way from Hawaii. Like, I can't even. And then here's a little card. I hope she doesn't mind. I'm just going to read it. Here are some Hawaii goodies for you to enjoy. It's up to you if you want to share <laughs> with your parents. Laugh out loud. Also sending two of my favorite Japanese characters on handy foldable and sturdy reusable shopping bags that you can stick in your purse or leave in the car in case you need a bag for dumpster diving. Hawaii did away with plastic shopping bags so everyone has to bring their own bag or pay for a paper one, etc. I keep three or four in the bottom of my purse in case we go shopping. They're pretty strong and I haven't had any problems with them. Hope you like, and if you could use more, just let me know. Be happy to send some your way. April, you're one of the sweetest, kindest people I know. You give above and beyond without expecting a thing in return. I'm so grateful to have, have, to have a friend like you. Take care and be safe out there and keep on being your awesome self. Give Winston a hug and a kiss for me. He's too cute. Sending hugs from Hilo, Hawaii, Lise. Such a beautiful card. Winston, come here, buddy. Now Winston has to make a grand appearance. Come here, buddy. Come on. He just jumped on the couch. Hold that thought. I'm going to go get him real quick. Okay, we're back. Mr. Winston wanted to say hello as well. He says, thank you. He will not be enjoying this chocolate, but he will be probably snuggling in this as soon as I get my scent on it. I'm sure he's going to love this. So thank you so, so much for such a surprise box that I was not expecting. You are so amazing and I can't thank you enough for your kindness uh, and for our friendship. So take care and we will see you soon. Say bye, Winnie. Click on the circle to check out my friend NWI Diver. And don't forget to subscribe to her channel.